something the big head pod harps court and suds with luds it is all in one we are all together it is our special holiday kumbaya session with the fellas i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited you guys you're the dub dudes this is so fun i thought she was gonna call me dumb uh well i mean it's, it's fun for me emily no question off. anytime i can get my, together with, with all of these brothers it's been said before Minchie. uh so we're gonna have some fun we're gonna talk some holiday traditions uh we're gonna talk about the podcast that you guys have all started in 2022 um we're so happy to have you guys as a part of the dub family um so let's just kind of do a little round table get to know you how things are going with the shows and i'm gonna start with you big nate uh, right. We got. Let me tell you something. Let how, me tell you something. How, you let, and let Isaiah. Tell, yeah, let me tell you something real quick. Oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> no, I need to be in this. I'm picture. excited. <laughs> I'm excited. You know, I, I got a, a partner I work with. Isaiah. He explained more. But I just cannot talk or hardly breathe with this dude next to me. This <laughs> eagle. I know. I, I, it's crushing me. It's a lot. It's a lot. And, and so I'm just going to turn it over to this big-headed dude over here. That's the eagle fan. Okay. Okay. All right, big head pod. <laughs> Kevin Mensch. With your terrible-ass eagles stocking That's cap. That's bad. It it's his prerogative, man. It is. You, it's his prerogative. You don't want to get it. You can wear what you want. You're wearing like a <laughs> no, this is me right here. Yeah, I'm wearing a little splash. Yeah. You too, Isaiah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not wearing it. Okay. It's Drake. It's like a knee guard and a shoulder pad. Lud doesn't even have one. You're going to get Lud not to say much. He's wearing. Just sit in the corner. He's wearing a snitches get stitches. I like it. I like it. Sweatshirt or t-shirt. It's the boots on. It is time. Very hockey-ish. Lugs is the man. It okay, can... back to our round the horn. Uh, Big head pod. How's it going? It's going good, I guess. I just show up, have fun, talk smack, and move on. Yeah. What all do you talk about on the show? Anything and everything. It just really depends on what comes to mind. It's not. There's no script to it. I just kind of, just kind of moments like this. We just sit down and just see what's. Do a little bit of history on whoever I'm talking with, and then. Kind of just roll into stuff. I don't. Some of your guests. Yeah, some of my guests. Oh my goodness, Michael Young to start. I've had some guys. John Rocker, cool. uh, the latest. I just had Mike Bassett Jr. on wow. the other day. I've had um, some military guys on as well. Uh, guys created an organization called MVP. There was a movie out. Nate Boyer mm-hmm. started oh, it. Yeah. Had a movie. Part of the movie is based on him. The guy's name is Denver Morris. Lives here in Addison. He's created this this organization, MVP, which is really good. That's at athletes and veterans coming back, merging together, just to kind of give themselves a little bit of identity and get back into into the swing of things. So it's just one of those where you know it's just just having fun with. It. That's the biggest thing, right? You can't. I don't like a script. To actually, have something to follow because I just don't. I, I never follow rules, right? I, no, athletes, and we never follow never, rules. Never been one to do that. So. Um, okay, so but a big part of the shows, all of us um, collectively, is the fact that we've been able to bring in sponsors that have been supportive of us. I know uh, for you, um, Herman Marshall has been a, a big player f- uh, for all of us here, and it, you've had, you're, you're drinking some right now. <laughs> um, who cares that it's 11 o'clock morning. in the morning? It's hot yeah. somewhere. It's, We're by a fire. Hot. It's okay. It's what it is. It's just, it's the whiskey. I think it's melting because it's 150 degrees and about this fire. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, they, you know, Ryan and his group and Herman Marshall have done an excellent job uh, with with this with the bourbon, they've got a rye, they've got the blended. You can see in the back, it's nice. It's perfect time of year. So, and you guys, you guys got to go out to the distillery, um, do some some sampling. Yeah, well, you got the chance to see their their old facility. They're in the process of building a brand new one in Wiley, which is going to mm-hmm. be, I think, about four times as big. It should open in Wiley, Texas. In Wiley, Texas. In Wiley, Texas. Oh, Texas, geez, we already had a high rate of drunk. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> now we got more. <laughs> they, have a, they have a tasting room right now. They're building, and, and the process of the outdoor facility should be done sometime in the spring. So, I'm looking forward to it. Getting over there, and I said maybe we can just move the shows over there, right? Distillery and yeah, I mean, you could probably single-handedly keep them in business at this rate. Yeah. That's what Lud's and I are here for. It. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, I mean, appreciate it's, that. It's, that's what it's about. <laughs> but yes, they do an excellent job. And, <laughs> yeah. For so, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready for it to give a chance to check it out. And yeah. your local liquor store. Cheers to Herman Marshall. Uh, 
Okay, so Isaiah, I've known, I've known Nate for a long time. Okay. I've been making him uncomfortable for at least 15, 20 years. But for you, it's been so fun to watch you. You're like a rising star, I feel like, yeah, in this broadcast medium. You're really, really good. Um, okay. Have you, what's it been like to work with Nate and for you guys to have this kind yeah, of It's been awesome. Nate and I have worked together a ton uh, with, on the Dallas Cowboys platform, so now we have opportunity to come over here and make it happen on the Dub Network. Or, uh, let me tell you something, you know, Nate says, that before he says any statement uh, <laughs> any important that so means we carry that over to the show and we, we simply we have fun like you know more more like Lori, my man Mitch over here we don't have a, a real script but we talk obviously we're always gonna talk a little football right because during the Cowboys season so we're gonna address what the Cowboys are doing good bad and ugly and then we got to get into life you know whether it's your upbringing whether it's you know things that are going on in the world whether we you know we talk about we had diabetes on we talked about Mary and Barber and some of his upbringing we talked to we talked about a lot about so, a soccer guy making Two hundred seventy million dollars in one year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, well, I guess, so they almost came out of retirement to go play soccer. <laughs> because <of you>. cool. <laughs> I would pay so much money to see Nate I play like five minutes of soccer. One on one, him and Ronaldo. It yeah, would yeah, be yeah. amazing. Uh, so for you guys, uh, Niagara is a huge uh, sponsor yeah. for y'all. I know you've enjoyed the partnership um, with them. How how encouraging has it been to have? people come on board and want to support. It's been dope. I mean, obviously, we, we have a good time on the, on the platform. And, you know, obviously, there's the things that, that Nate and I support. And, and Niagara has been huge in terms of coming on and being a sponsor for us. Uh, we went out and did an activation with them, signed some autographs. You know, they made some little little cars, little player cars for Nate and myself. And we did some autographs and things like that and got to see some of their technologies that they're putting into toilets. Nobody ever would have thought that you would yeah. need to buy toilets, but you need right. toilets, right? And then if they can save you money in the process with their toilets, then, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a win-win. So we appreciate them uh, supporting us on our platform. And um, yeah, I know I plan on getting some in the crib. I know Nate's planning on. Nate said he goes through toilets. I need heavy duty. I was just I mean, about we, that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, two or three that. years. <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. in my house for about fifteen <laughs> years, and I haven't <laughs> had to replace my toilets. Nate said he replaced mine three, three times. <laughs> you know, I got to get well, fit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. That's a lot of information, so, Nate. That is but, a lot but, of information. I, I know, but this is a legit question. It's highly inappropriate. Yeah. But do you have to have a bigger toilet mm -hmm. than regular people? And I saw one. They was playing this little thing, little corny hole thing. Corn hole I like, yo, that'll <laughs> fit. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, the I got that. Right? Yeah. Uh, the whole the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's sturdy. Both it down. Yeah. Got both yeah. it down. Yeah. So yeah. what happens like if you need to go and you're not? <laughs> in a, Are you serious? Not, <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> These are, <laughs> are, these are legitimate <laughs> questions. When I travel, I have checkpoints and certain yeah. points I don't check and other points I the, do. The thing is, okay. like, there's a lot of yeah. technology in the Niagara Corp. Toilet That's right. I don't understand how they, get, how they can handle me and save water at the same time. <laughs> now, I don't know how they make that combination work, but somehow, some way, they But you got to understand out. now that when we get to these other guys that, you know, do, do the... With their y'all gonna use us regardless. Y'all gonna see us in the end. You mean Herbal Marshall guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna see us they in gonna, the end. They gonna end up at the night. They gonna end up at the night. I mean, everybody's gotta go. Everybody's gotta go. Everybody. I just gonna make you sure mine so? fit. You think so? Yeah. I'd love, I'd love to go right now. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Good Harp, Harp you your turn. Harp Court, uh, <laughs> tell me how the podcast is going and uh, if, if you've enjoyed it or if you're regretting this decision. No, 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 I never regret. I, I've totally enjoyed it. I mean, you think about what it is. I mean, it's an opportunity, like all of these guys have echoed, to be yourself more than anything. And, you know, I work on the Mavericks broadcast, and you always got to be politically correct. You don't want to say anything to hurt anybody's feelings and things of that nature. But a podcast, you go for it. And I think it challenges all of us to be able to have that kind of freedom if you would, as a person that, that, that works in the media. Yeah. So I've enjoyed it totally. Um, not as easy as people think to do it. I think it's a challenge sometimes just, number one, to get your guys on, on your schedule. That's been a challenge for me from time to time. But all in all, I completely enjoy it. You talked about the sponsorship with Herman and Marshall. Uh, can't do it without those guys. And we appreciate that kind of support and all of that. But uh, all in all, man, it has been fantastic. You all talked about guests. Um, I've had Jeff Van Gundy, John Starks, Mark Aguirre, Sean Marion, a lot of different people. And I don't necessarily think that's what it's all about. I mean, whoever you put on, it's up to you to get out of them what you want to get out of them. And that challenge has been phenomenal for me.
And it's so much more fucking relaxed than oh, yeah. regular. Yeah. <laughs> I knew she couldn't We went there. We got there. We, we got all the way to Harp. Just, I just, I we did, got I, all the way to Harp, so I guess it's you that brings <laughs> it out of I just it wanted, a to I just want to. <laughs> I'm not going to drop a bunch of F-bombs, but I wanted to drop one well-placed one oh, just, yeah. just for Nate. Just for Julia's Nate. Julia's there, too, by the way. Oh, no, and, yeah. Yes, Julie's off camera. Yeah. I got the, the task. I got the task of uh, of yeah. wrangling you guys. And yeah. the, no diffi more difficult person to wrangle than Craig Ludwig um, from what's Suds. Up, what's up, Yoda? Suds. <laughs> I'm trying to be festive. I'm trying to be festive. Um, so for you, I've known you a long time, too. You have very, very little filter. Um, has it been fun to go filterless on a podcast? Yes. Stop. You are not going to do this to me. You are not going to do this to me. Um, yeah, and I, I agree with Hart. It, I find it... And when finally, you somebody you know agrees it, with me. Well, that's why we sit in each other all the time. <laughs> yeah, we so got something in common. That's right, man. When, when you it's not the you hair know either. Hundreds and hundreds of people, and you can get people lined up all the time. It's not as easy as that, you know, because you're trying to juggle when they can, when they can't. Mm -hmm. Like I started with a list. I'm like, man, I got this thing nailed. That list is gone. You know, now you start scrambling for other things. But you know, between. You know, the Herman Marshall and early bird gummies. It keeps us, <laughs> keeps me motivated and keeps me loose and going. So, but, but I've enjoyed it. What I, what it, what it's helped with me personally, because you know, you're a pro at this stuff and I did a little bit of it, but what it helps me do is learn how to listen. Um, I think that's the key to doing the podcast thing. I'm starting to go is just because I come in with 12 pages of notes. Are you serious? Just, I, I'm so <laughs> anal and and I have I, I do ridiculous research as much as I can on people that I'm doing and I have all these things and I try to put them in order. So we should start here, we should go here, 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 right. What I think that you guys would do on a broadcast maybe or however that works, but um and at the end of it I don't look at one page. But that's because I've learned to listen and just kind of go off of like what you're doing right now. You're listening to us and then you'll follow up that way. I was mm -hmm. I was never listening to the person I was talking to. I was okay. Thinking and about I the next question. Go, this is my next question. But it's more interesting playing off of what they just said. Yeah, and it's funny Absolutely. that you mentioned that because when I whenever I give advice or if anybody asks me for advice, like reporters or whatever, and I'm like, stop, tr don't don't try so hard. Just mm -hmm. don't try so hard yeah. because if you are just thinking <laughs> about your next question, yeah. you're going to miss out on what they've said, which a lot of times is even more gold than you know than it would have been otherwise. Okay, so you mentioned the early bird, and I, early bird gummies have saved my life. The CBD gummies with the little little hint of THC to make you feel a little little good and real relaxed. You are a huge proponent of them. Well, I, I was never, I didn't really expect me to start trying to be totally honest with you. It took me a while. Like I, I'm like, uh-uh. You start and with one or two? I started with half of one. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm like, I just dipped my toe in the water. Okay. Because I didn't want to be the guy. Because when I, <laughs> I have a tendency to go out and do dumb things. Really? Right. Right. No. What? No, that's I'm shocked. <laughs> Without any help. Wow. Right. <laughs> and so, and I heard Menchie, I was talking, and he goes, oh, dude, you got to take at least two of them. He goes, I take two and just melt right in my couch. I'll be melting at the bar stool someplace. And so I didn't, I was a little leery about it. And then, um, you know, speaking with some people, they're like, man, because my biggest thing is I don't sleep. Like, I'm three hours max, three, four hours, and I'm up doing right. stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm always thinking about stuff. And, and so getting those notes together. For yeah, no, I'm getting notes, and I got to go to <laughs> practice, and I got to do a bunch of different things. And so, <laughs> but, I, but I thought, let, let me try it. And so a half a gummy doesn't do shit for me. I've, I've learned that. I'm like, oh, these things don't work. You do a bag then, or something? But then I try. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Nate. Nate, I'm sorry, you did you just say bag? Nate, Nate, you want to let us know what, what amount of. <laughs> I gave it up, baby. No, I repented in my sins, and I'm not <laughs> doing so well. Nate, I'm, well, wanna, I'm listening to What I want to do with you, to be honest with you, mm. I want to get in a time capsule and let's go back to the 90s and have a conversation. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, 90s, Nate. Would that be interesting? 90s, Nate. We think it's t-shirt. Nate, I got your back, homie. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 90s Nate. Oh. So anyway, that's so yes, it, it helps me sleep. So I, I, I'm it, it's helping me sleep. Uh, you know, extra 15, 20 minutes. So, but I haven't graduated to 
three, four, any of that. Just so like, aggressive, man. <laughs> two and two max, but it, yeah. it hits, and then all of a sudden, if I don't go to sleep right away, I find myself in the pantry. What? Oh, yeah. Rolls out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much you kick in. Okay. Damn, I need to go to bed. What is happening with your hat right I'm now? I'm sweating. You're sweating. It's okay. hot. Okay. 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 It's messing up my hair. It's the, the wait, just wants to get off his head. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 No, sir. That's a hard thing. Try to put a round hat like that on a cement brick. See how long it actually stays in place. Wow. Messing up my hair. Cement. Well, you have an oblong. But that sounds good. This early burst stuff, especially with joints, too, as far as the. That just helps in the morning waking up. I don't feel like I do. This is going to be awesome. I coach 17 and 18 year old kids. So this is a great conversation to be having. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. What's better in sports than whiskey and a little THC? Yeah, there you go. Well, I'll uh, be darn. Okay, so it, your call it, it, is the, <laughs> it is the it is the holiday season. We're all very festive with you guys wearing stocking caps yeah, over your draped right. over your shoulders and knees. Um, so what 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 holidays do y'all is is everybody at Christmas? Are we at Kwanzaa? Are we uh, I'm Christmas. Hanukkah? I'm Christmas. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's it's a safe question. Yeah, you gotta ask those questions. Yeah, nowadays. yeah. I'm because a, I want to support I'm anybody's a, celebration. Well, lunch was, no, no, Christmas. Lunch was celebrating <laughs> Christmas in August when he was at home. Christmas. Okay, Christmas. Where's your, is your Christmas tree still up? At, that's not mine. That's my mom's. The damn thing's up. <laughs> they keep all it up. A year. Yeah, yeah you're wrong. It's a, it's no, your mom up. keeps the tree up all year long. Yeah. She never takes it down. Never. This is this unbelievable. See those videos. <laughs> and that's no. why I, I, there's people here in Dallas that I know. Uh, you know, uh, you may know Rob Shickley. Oh yeah, I know Rob. Okay, well his parents have like four of them up year round. Year like, round. What is happening? Year, I don't know. Yeah, they're from Wisconsin. They used to work. Uh, they were involved in Old Milwaukee beer, so there might be a tie in there. I don't know. Oh, They're tied to I'm close so to Canada. Do you have like little pictures of you on ornaments? No, no, she, ornaments. I'm saying, does she have like little pictures of you hanging on the tree? Unless she might. On the tree. Um, <laughs> he doesn't get enough in the ring. That's giving me so much anxiety right now. Why? I don't know. It just, I can't, like, I get excited to get my Christmas decorations out, and I get equally as excited to put them away. When do you put them, when do you put yours up? Uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Okay. And then they go away the day after Christmas. Oh, you anal about it. I, so you don't do it through the New Year's. Oh, most people I do. Keep them I do it through the New Year's. That's, that's what I thought. But I See how touch. we brought up Niagara and everybody's getting anal? The word yeah. anal. Yeah. I see what you did there, Doug. I see. That's a good tagline. That's a good tagline. Pump, Crack yourself up. Yeah. Hey, 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 pump it up, Nate. Yeah. I, I think everybody's getting anal might not be the best tagline. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. Isn't it great for sales? It's got to be great for sales. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just saying. I'm not sure if you're aware of other connotations right. that might be involved. I, yeah. My head doesn't go does really right. no. Okay. No. I'm now the only it's one. there. I, now I have a visual, so. So I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Um, okay, so everybody's Christmas. Is that yeah, what, yeah. What kind, I'm with Christmas. What really. kind of, okay. What kind of, what kind of. What kind of traditions are we are we working with? No, What's happening? just for me, just you know, my I got my sons. I make sure they have what they need. You know, I got a new uh, granddaughter, so all that's shifting to her. My sons, I'm letting them know you you through all of go to Natalia, <laughs> all the money, <laughs> all, all that your wives, all that's through all that go to her. People, say, I thought I wouldn't get excited, but all of it goes Changed to Natalia. Every game, dime honey. goes you up. Change the game. Yeah. Okay, so. So do you shop personally for her? Yeah, it's called money <laughs> in a bank account for her future. Yeah. I love That's it. That's how I do it, man. Money. Because you can give gifts, you know, which, you know, which I did for my babies and which we'll do for her. But uh, one of my brothers taught me he uh, did it for his kids more the money than the gifts into a bank account towards college. When they got up, the college was paid for. I'm like, I'm, I, and it never dawned on me. All these super advisors Vinny, I've had, it never done. Very smart. I like yeah. that. So I'm going to do that for her. Yeah. Love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And my wife, whatever she needs, it's all yours, oh. baby. Yeah, I'm going to take care of mama. Uh-huh. Ain't nobody put up with me for 12 months out of a year. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been with take her? Care of her. I've been over about 17 <laughs> years. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. That's right. So she came in after 90s. Nick. Yeah, after yeah. 90s. Nick. Smart, yeah. smart woman. Mar- yeah, if I, if I lost the first one, I like that. Uh, uh, she took half and went to, you know, yeah, I, like, I don't know. All right. Yeah, y'all with me, right? I I'm love like, the, 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 the new Nate, yeah. whatever the case may be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't You're know. I man. think they should change the name of their I show love to the 90s. New Nate. 90s. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> No, the past is the past, man. That's yeah, the whole thing. Is. And I know that's And you can tell one story per show. Yeah. Or, or the old Nate. Mm-hmm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, man. I do. I, lo- I love 
this night too. Yeah. I love yeah. this. Put down the crap because I'm yeah. not yeah. taking yeah. it. No, no, no. You say crap. There we go. Okay. He makes his friends. All right, Kevin. What kind of traditions are we working with in the Minch household? Heart disease and diabetes all oh, at the same time. Jeez. Wow. Right? You go down to go down the west with all the all the Czechs and Germans down there built with butter and sugar. I mean it's So you go to West. True. That's where you go every year. Mm -hmm. That's right. Heart disease and diabetes all at the same time. Okay. Wow. Right? You get those kolaches? Yeah. Oh yeah. What's the best one? I like cream cheese. Cream cheese kolaches. Mm -hmm. I thought kolaches were like with they do fruit, they do fruit different, kinds. different kinds. Um, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. You can put anything in a kolache. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, do yeah. like some jalapeno yeah. sausage and cheese or something. That's the meat kolaches. They have the... That's what... Yeah, I think I'm a one as well. meat but, kolache girl. And that place will be backed up 30, 40 deep out the door yeah. around this time of year. People okay. just driving up and down the highway. It is packed. Isn't it crazy how people... Like, like Bucky's is weird. Like, why do people... So many people, people put on Bucky's? Bucky's, 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 Bucky's. Bucky's. I love Bucky's. Bucky's is a spot. And they yeah. drive for miles to get to those places. Yeah. Right. I love Bucky's. Ever since they put one the in gas there, and clean restaurants. I didn't know there was one in the I normally, when I go down to Houston, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, no. I normally make my little stop. Right in Denton now. That's oh, what really? everybody tell me. Uh, oh, you know what? I, I yeah. heard that. I heard that. Can yeah. Bucky's accommodate Nate going to the bathroom? Yes, they can. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I hate to. Uh, this is a podcast. I hate here, to. Talking about Bucky's was a gas. You know, because I it use is. the handicap. That, you know what I'm saying? I hate yeah. to. You know, I don't use this. You guys go Christmas shopping at a gas station? Hey, you could. Bucky's got it. You could. Okay. Bucky's got everything. I'm finna go see they they promo guy. Okay. Yeah, we need to get a deal with Bucky's. We need to get a deal with Bucky's. Why isn't Bucky's a sponsor of this? I don't know. We're on it. We're on it. Yeah, go for Bucky. Turn that over to the staff. Um, Julie. You Tom. are the staff. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, Isaiah, holiday traditions for the Stanback family. No real traditions yet. I mean, the, I'm trying to convert the kids from having a bunch of just stuff yep. to actually having some meaningful things. Uh, so this is probably the first year that I'm cutting off the just this a dude a toys. dictator, man. What you mean? This dude a dictator. What you, listen here. He they took away all the they kids' toys. They have everything they need. He took away all the kids' listen, the toys. The wife got everything she needs. The kids have everything He's they need. He's a dictator. Need. He's a dictator. They're spoiled all year long. You know, <laughs> they, they stay spoiled, but like, it's mainly just the family coming through, you know, in the morning time, get up, and uh, we have the little elf on the shelf thing. That leads up to Christmas. Okay. Okay, does it make you crazy? It yeah, makes yeah crazy. I, I let the wifey handle most of that. I handle. I probably take about five days out the whole mm -hmm. month that I'm responsible for. Other than that, and I have a good excuse because I leave at like five o'clock in the morning every right. morning. So I, like, oh, I forgot. He's doing a dictator. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dictator. Um, okay, real tree or fake tree? Fake tree now. Okay. I, 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 but I, I would prefer a real tree. It's just you're in Texas now, so. When I was up in Seattle, it made more sense to have a real tree because he's like, you either go up. My dad and I we used to go up to Mount Rainier and get the cut the tree dog, tree, cut the tree down, put it on top of the car, drive it back, put it up in the house. Like that was like the whole thing. But now it's like you're in there are no trees. There's no there real are trees. Tree. There's good lots. We get a real tree every year. We get some, we get a good one. I'm picturing, go I'm picturing Christmas, picture. Christmas at your house right now. You and your yeah. dad hunky yeah. the snow. Strap sit there. <laughs> but Strap we forgot there. the saw. But that's what I think about the cost. You're talking about the cost of it. Like you spending 150 bucks every year, 200 bucks on the tree. I'm like, I might as well drop, drop this 300, this 350 and yeah. Yeah. throw it up in the attic. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Hold I will say this about real trees. They're hard. It's hard to hang ornaments because they're, they're not like. Yeah, they start yeah. dying. My, my remember, put water in the, and still yeah. water the tree. Still yes. water the tree. Especially if you got a, you believe in a hot house. Still water the tree. If you don't, it'll dry. And how, the how, how do you keep your house? Yeah. You talking about you over here sweating? What's what's the temperature at your house? Seventy. At my, right now, the heat is on. I just have it. Seventy is max. Max, probably yeah. Your your AC's yeah. kicking on at seventy. Yep. Well, max I sweat in the meat locker. Seventy. Seventy one. Yeah. What are you? I'm yeah. 73. 73. No, I'm really? 70. We're no. 70. Am I tripping? Do Maybe during right, the winter I'll do 72. You want ice all day, so. My house, 63, 64. What? And it means Hockey. Nothing. Hockey guy. Typical hockey <laughs> I, guy. I knew it had to be low for him. I can't stand it. Yeah, you sleep better when it's cold. <laughs> well, I turn Live it down Texas, before bed, me. but oh, no. 60, 63 all the time? Yeah, like it won't be on this winter. Jesus. I, I won't have it on. I mean, there might be the rare, rare occasion I'll even turn it on. That's crazy. Yeah, windows that's, are open right now. That's crazy. Windows are open. Okay. I don't even know why they're sure. open. Pretty to sure. each his own. It takes all kinds to make the world to go round. <laughs> okay, heart, yeah. holiday traditions. You know, you family. I, when, when I think Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Thank I know we're you. talking about Christmas in particular, but I think family. I think coming together with all my brothers and sisters, and it's a bunch of us as uh, growing up. Um, 
I have four kids, and I, I just think about coming together with them and eating and stopping and eating some more, all the gift giving. I think at some point that becomes a mute point. I, I don't think it's necessarily about here, I got you this or here, I got you that. It's more about coming together with your family and celebrating. And that's what I remember. I, I don't remember getting a whole lot. I grew up extremely below middle class and uh, we didn't get a whole lot, but we were still happy. And to me, that's that's what it's all about. It's about celebrating your loved ones and uh, just just enjoying, wow. enjoying the meaning and what mm -hmm. what Christmas is all about. Yeah, and I think we do lose sight of that sometimes because of all the the obligations and the things pulling us in these directions and the yeah. the, the spending you, you, the money you, and the gifts and all you, that kind of stuff that you do. You lose absolutely. Sight of it, you know means. who benefit benefits the most from Christmas. Department stores, yeah. Amazon, the Amazon, Amazon. All, all of these, they benefit more than anybody yeah. because that's what it's all about. Everybody is punching their credit card. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you really think about it, that's certainly not what, what Christmas was, was, sure. was supposed to be about. So I just enjoy it with my family more than anything. Good for you. Yeah. Bloody. What you got going on at the Ludwig Council? <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas yeah, 365. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start praying right now. Uh, well, it, I mean, I would say it's pretty traditional. Um, I got three boys. Um, my twins are 36. The other one's 31. They're all married. There's five grandkids. They like to have a cocktail here and there. The, so, the grandkids or the kids? Oh, all of them. Oh, all of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of them have them before? Uh, the start them early. Does any start of them have them before eleven? Just the, curious. You know how, like in the in the professional sports, and when you're talking about the standings and things like that, right. and you guys going down the road, and it it can get late pretty early when your team isn't doing well, right? Right. It gets late early at my place by like eleven a.m. But they 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 don't go away. They stay there. They don't I'm gonna have home. I'm gonna have a sip of that. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, but this, it'll be a little bit different for me this year. It'll be the first time in 30 plus years I'm actually gonna go home for Christmas. So wow. my kids will Sweet. all be here um, doing their thing. And see, every year my parents or my mom, when I had twins, my mom decided to have a children's clothing store, and that's been her business for 50 years. Uh, well, not that long, I guess 30 plus years. Um, so every year she sends us these onesies. <laughs> like for grown-ups. Yeah. From, from this to here. Okay. Hold so on. we to, all to, have to, to this wear day, onesies. You, you have onesies oh, yeah. every year. I have to wear onesies every year. It's got the need... flap ass flap in the back for Niagara. Oh, yeah. I, why are you not wearing it? <laughs> we are going I forgot about it till just now. Oh, Otherwise yeah, I should have. Yeah. I should have brought you all one. That's we, what I should have worn it. Yeah, I would have totally worn it. I just have like, been a like star, hot man. yoga in here with they're, that. They're, they're, um, yeah, we would have been a license system. Yeah. 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 We're going to need like photographic evidence. Oh, I need evidence. There's bound to be pictures. Well, if this was a live show, somebody would be texting right now. But okay. but I do have. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have pictures all over every single year. And so there would be pictures sent from my family in Wisconsin, my brother and, and his family, to us here. And we're all wearing the same thing in different locations, the same same one, same, same one every one year, thing. different. Yes, so she sends them to everybody. So anyway, um, this year I'm going back. Actually, we're going. To, we're, our team's playing the Phoenix this week. I'll be leaving on Monday, and I'm going to do the whole shit show. Will be up in Wisconsin this year. My kids will be here. So, but, but it'll still be the same thing. It's just this will probably be the well. This will definitely be the first time in 20 plus years I'll be spending a Christmas with my brother. Which okay. that acorn didn't fall too far from the tree either. So, really? Yeah. Uh, so it'll be you know. Here. Yeah. Ryan, we're going to need delivery to Wisconsin. Yes, yes. <laughs> All um, wow. And Charlie Bird, too. Said, yeah. well, my brother sent me a text message two nights ago, and, and this is how he deals with my mom. He goes, hey, I'm having, I'm having dinner with your mother. And, and he goes, are you bringing any of that early bird stuff home with you? And I just sent him a message back, and I said, is it for you or for her? And he goes, oh, it's for both of us, because they're obviously at like, you know. So there will be a lot of early bird and early a little bird. bit of this going back. Nice. nice. What about the you? Harley trailer is full for the trip to Wisconsin. I see, no doubt. You driving? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you worried about getting cold? Sixty-four. But you're not here. House. It's like sixty he's, degrees he's in my got house. Eight shirts okay. on right now. He's from Wisconsin. Okay. All right. All right.
Okay, very exciting. What's your tradition? Uh, I'm I'm so we go every year the day after Thanksgiving, and we go get a Christmas tree. Um, there's a there's a, a a Christmas tree lot that they set up at. So you don't cut your own. Has I it, don't cut my own. Has there ever been a day where you have where you cannot go the next day? There is. Never. I feel like you would just turn into a spider monkey. Man. I, <laughs> <laughs> We're getting in the car now. <laughs> the um, yeah, you just sound that's good. like that's good. Y'all, I mean, God, the, the, my, the level of my OCD is so incredibly high. I feel it. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That's why I asked that question. I'm like, somebody got me that day. You know, she's got, she's got, a, she's got a map of the times that they're opening. It's exactly. like oh, six it's seven fifty nine, which was yeah. card eight. Where, 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 Let's go. Where is everybody? My, my poor kids. I mean, and I, you know, I've gotten to a point in my life where I'm like, F it, this is who I am, and I'm not yeah. going to apologize. Yeah. And so now my kids have just kind of learned to like go along for this OCD joyride. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you know, but yeah, that's what we do. We go at you know, we leave the house at seven fifty nine a.m. Yeah. So we were first on the lot. Yeah. Um, go get the tree, and then we I, they I let them. This is actually me giving up some control. Uh, I let them decorate the tree, and I don't I don't mess with it. Like I let it's all their like cheesy little ornaments from mm. preschool and all like that. Lug's picture. All, yep, That's Luddy's good. picture. Nice. Well, hey, uh, I got my tree that I have here is fake. Okay, I've I, had it for like six years. It's duct taped together when I have to put it together every year, <laughs> just so I can fill in the holes. I got a roll of duct tape on one side yeah. of it. Like so, I, on the back side. I, I duct tape probably I more. The you should get you should get a new one. I think it's time. I think we. Yeah. See, I'm living on borrowed time, so I'm like, man, if I just if I oh, go invest three hundred bucks in a tree, I'm not even gonna be able to spend time with it. You're gonna. <laughs> well, if you leave it up year round, like your mom, you could spend. Yes, yeah, see, I don't go it. that far. Okay, okay. but well, you know, that's good to know. My, one thing, and, and I feel you because this week here for me, and my wife kind of disappointed me yesterday because I I drive around and for the Christmas lights. So we was on this side of town two days ago. And last night I'm getting pumped, I'm getting hyped. And she's like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. And I, and I, and I, okay, babe, but can we do it Thursday? <laughs> you are big Christmas lights. I would guy. drive around for some lights. I, I would like drive, and then I have to go, yes, I, I have to go to certain you. malls. I hate shopping, I, but Christmas, I like to go to malls and just watch people. And I talk to people. You know, you know, know I'm, I'm walking, you know, I, Ex athlete, you kind of just trying to navigate. Have somewhere get, to go. But now people be like, Big Noon, I, oh, I'm talking. They'd be like, Wow, oh, man. I, I would say that Christmas man, puts I love you it, in that spirit. So it makes right? you, yeah. Yeah, yeah it kind of yeah. puts you in the spirit. Yeah, okay. I love it, man. Everyone, I go to the malls. Be I, on the lookout for Nate Newton at a yeah. mall near you. Yeah, and I'll take a picture with you. Like, yeah. <laughs> you take a picture? Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm banging big I'm at the malls, man. And drive, <laughs> you used to be in my van yeah, yeah, driving like around watching, watching. Man, because Christmas, like Harp said, is about family. It's about all these fans that have supported us. And that ain't the right time to be that stuck up guy, you know. Any time during the year, but those I can't people. see you being stuck up. I can't either. Any time, bro. I, yeah, I, I can't. I bet you have your moment. Yeah. I bet nineties. Nah, no, I can. I can be kind of, you know, <laughs> not stuck up. Fish. It's no. It's like, how you doing, Nate? How you doing? I'll keep walking. Yeah, yeah. You know, I won't. You know, you don't make eye contact. Exactly. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I got you. Doing Christmas. <laughs> what beats Christ? That, that's how I look at Christmas is Christ. And yep. you got to be more Christ-like yep. yep. doing Christmas. Yep. And that's just what I believe. I love that. The oh, problem is I hate yeah. when they put stuff out in July. Christmas stuff's out in July. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, bitch. That's what it's about. That, that's what it's, it's about. It's been out. For Love Love Mom. Love 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 that's that's the problem. It's like shit year round. I, Halloween's coming, right? That doesn't okay. Thanksgiving. There's more more and more Christmas stuff. stuff right? yeah. I mean, it's Christmas. Isn't Christmas even candy. They, 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 I, I, they've got bathing suits on the shelf already. Let me tell you something. On December 26th, you're going to start seeing Valentine's Day shit. I no promise you. That's it what, makes oh, me I, that's what holidays are for, man. That's, what, that's how they it's get It's the us. spirit is what you're talking yeah. about. You can't have the spirit if it's in August. Why not just have it around? And I know people <laughs> like the, the spirit to be. Right, right. But, What's the point? Why not just celebrate 365 days a year? That's well, the point. The purpose. Well, if you of it, celebrate to... each other, 
365 days a, week, a year, then you don't have to go into that bag just doing Christmas, but right? But when you see a Christmas tree, what's your first thought? Pardon? When you see a Christmas tree or ornaments or Christmas light, what's your first thought is that Absolutely. season of that... Yeah, like you said, it's not about the gifts. It's Spending just that money. But when it's out in July, my, I'm at my, the beach and they got I Christmas with that. up. I'm yeah, like, what the hell? I see a Christmas tree, I'm like, oh shit! Now I'm gonna start yeah. spending money. Yeah, and it's just yeah. facts. And, and you don't know what they're getting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys do a big spread for Christmas? That oh, I, that was gonna be my always. next question. So like, yeah, like Thanksgiving, we blow it out, and then Christmas, it's like finger yeah. foods and yeah, you change it up. Okay. Okay. We, we do, do a spread, but like it might a be a seafood spread okay. or an Italian spread. Okay. You understand what all I'm right, saying? Yeah, right. just change it. Don't be a hog mall or a chilling spread. Oh, oh no! I, <laughs> hey, man. You talk about that on the collard greens. Yeah. <laughs> they should be a collard greens spread. I love oh, collard greens. I so, do too. Uh, I ain't tell you the pie. what you're talking about. <laughs> Collard greens? <laughs> what, 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 what are these? Like, Lots of sales. Can somebody please like, make money some, like, neck bone and collard greens? Can you see what you're talking about? Neck bone and collard greens. That's what you need to try. A what? So we ain't eating no greens. Neck bone. We ain't eating no deer. I know some wolves. Yeah, we ain't eating no deer. I know, you know. No deer, no Jerk sausage or none of that, bro. That's that Wisconsin. We eat that down south thing, man. I don't even know what a collard Collar green is. Collard. Collard. You don't know what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what a collard green is. No. Are you, what you, you a hunter? Are you hunter? Like yeah, but yeah. I don't hunt okay. collard greens. No, you're not. No, no, no. No, no, we don't have collard greens. greens. You, you pick them. Collard greens. You pick them. You pick them. I'm always bags of collard greens. I just sit there and pick them. Peas and beans and carrots. Carrot greens. Is that a collard green? No, no, that's not even close. You couldn't mess those well, two somebody, together. You know what he's told me? It looks like loves needs to be cultured on the black folk. Did, did you, you find one of those? This is not a black. Why isn't anybody explaining? No, everybody everybody eats collard greens down south. Is there a reason they want to eat collard greens? What the hell is it? Hey, they don't have them in Wisconsin. Wait, I just clarification. Did you just ask me to eat the carrots? Yeah, you might have a point. You might have a point. Ask me what I eat. Oh, okay, okay. What do you eat? Veggies. What veggies? Because collard veggie, right? Carrots and beans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we eat that veggie. What veggie? Beans. 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 Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, is hey, this man. collard green a, a vegetable? Vegetable? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, Lux. Yes, it is. It's green. Hey, man. Hey. Vegetable. Can we get some? I can get some. I can get some. I can get some. I can get some. I can get can I get some more ice? Yeah. Put it in a box. That's a Christmas yeah. gift right there. Oh, you know, man, where we can cool down. Oh, <laughs> so, no, you guys keep talking about it, but I don't know what it is yet. It, it's comparable it's like to leafy. Is it a green? Can you spell it's vegetable? Comparable. To what? To cauliflower. Okay. Yeah, it's in the same, I would say, wouldn't you guys say? It's yeah, yeah. in that spinach kale, spinach, spinach, kale. Yeah. kind of a leafy, it's a leafy green. Yes. But much You've never easier to mix. The only mix. leafies that you're used to are it's, the, uh, It's much easier to mix. Leafy, so yeah. You can mix meat with that better than, you know, you can mix meat Pork, you usually make better. with pork and all that yeah. stuff. It's, it's, it's really Smoke fat We'll bring you some next year. Fat back. I don't know. Oh, you got time. Is you <laughs> you know what fat back is, right? Oh, what? That's true. Fat back. Yeah, he needs to be fat served some green. Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. That, you can mix the pig with it. What does that have to do with the color green? bones and stuff like that. Sweet Georgia Browns is where you want to go. It's not colored. What is it? How do you say it? How do you spell it? Colored. Like colored. Colored. Not colored. It's C-O. Give me some of them color green. Hey, some, some, oh, some of the I can see go so much for these colored greens. Yeah, but let me tell you something. What I'm asking about it, there's only man. three guys talking about it. Hey, man. Man. But they're not telling me. Vince knows what colored greens are. He keeps asking me what I'm doing. You ever had colored Vince? Come on. Yeah, it's a bad one. Have you had this stuff? Yes. Listen, but, but I mean colored greens. I mean colored color, greens. Color, it's color, food. Color, color, it's it's color, food. Color. Oh, my God. Not colored greens, man. Not stuff. Probably food. You guys all missed out on the opportunity for a really good joke when you asked if you knew what fat back was. If you knew what fat back was, you could say, I thought, was yeah, he did. He did say, say I could have said that was Nate Andy. I thought you were going to say, yeah, you said Nate Yeah, you said Nate Yeah, you said Nate Yeah, you said Nate Get it? You got to, sweet joy. I'm going to ask the baseball side over here. So, slump buster. So, you do a spread with Italian or Spanish? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Change it up. That's all. Just what you do. Are you pulling some deer? Yeah, he's trying to get us back. Prime rib. I'm sorry. My, my, bro my brother's got the deer. I do prime rib every year. So I make the prime rib every okay. year. How do you make it? I put it in the oven at 250. I got I put a big crust of uh, salt on top of it. Make it hurt. Let's put it in the oven at 250. You turn the oven off. Don't touch it for four or five hours. 
Then an hour before you can eat, turn it back on at 250. And it's like butter. What is colored, it? Colored greens um, would go good with so that. So we're going to have this sort of culinary <laughs> show, too, between everybody. <laughs> Have a cook off. Um, what what are you, you what were you just talking about cooking? Oh, yeah. Too cooking. Cook I'm afraid off. to say anything now because okay. apparently I, I don't be. It's a podcast. Okay. Remember? <laughs> it's okay. There's no rules here. Prime rib. Prime rib. Okay. 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 Ooh, so man, we wow. Release that to the wild of blood. Yeah. I can Prime do that. Can well, do now that. I know what my side, one of my sides is going to be. Like. Colored Col- green. <laughs> Colored <laughs> green. Some, and some, <laughs> some fat back. I'm not sure that we're going to have that in Wisconsin. Um, Probably not. I don't, does it grow in the, is it, a, but it grows in the field. Yes. 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 It's <laughs> does a grow in the field. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, Introduce we're, people to him. He needs to be okay. We're gonna, I'm going to bring you some next year. Yes. Next Thanksgiving, I got you. Yeah. All right. I, I have time before Christmas. Because I like spinach. But you do eat macaroni and cheese, right? If it finds its way into my house over Christmas. I got you. All yeah. right. Macaroni and cheese, you do eat that, right? I got you covered on that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like the cheese same thing. capital is... of the world. Are okay. we in the same ballpark? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheese. Yes. Cheese yes, it. we are in the same ballpark. If you tell you, you call it pasta. And macaroni and cheese. Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's some yams. Now you talk. Oh, you eat them together. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, I thought they were like in the same food group. With some yams. They, they pretty much Like are. Stan just talked about. I don't, I don't <laughs> do that. Yeah, you put them together. They go together. Like ham and burger. You eat pumpkin pie or potato pie? Did you just Pumpkin say like ham and burger? They go together like ham <laughs> and burger. Same thing. That's my thing. I never heard of a potato pie. You never had potato pie. No. Sweet potato pie? You never I, had it? Sweet potato pie? I've never heard. Nate, next year? Oh, okay. Hey, I've heard of sweet potato pie, sweet but potato not potato pie. pie. Okay. Uh, we just cutting it short. Yeah. Oh, That's he, all this. But like the colored greens. <laughs> you just <laughs> pinching it off? Yeah. Okay, we got to yeah. stop this show. Okay. This is what happens with a lot of concussions. I know. I know. I know. Okay, wait, we totally glossed over the fact that you talked about a slump buster. A what? A slump you buster. You brought it up. I, what did I say? Fat backs. What fat backs. Slump buster. Being a girl. Like you brought up fat backs being a girl. I, I, uh, I can't tell you. It's a baseball you. term. It's a, uh, yeah. So I didn't play Sometimes baseball. you got to what, what, do what? Slump busters. I did play baseball, and I don't know if they can slump buster. Is. <laughs> you got to do But he was on a different level in baseball. Yeah, he was. He went yeah. to the highest level. Yeah. yeah. He, all, he knows all the like, ins and outs, right? Sometimes you got to. Manchi, what's Do your career bad average? To get, to get out of a <laughs> Okay, okay yeah, I'm going to bad uh, average. So much cool. Now ask Google. Which Remember, the internet's all 100% truth, so it's on there. <laughs> it's, well, I, I think, I think I that would be a baseball stat you guys uh, know. No. You're bad at kind of you know you're bad at How many goals have you scored? Well, about 23. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's easy for me. <laughs> How many not points many. did you want to win, Hart? Yeah. I have no idea. How, what, what was your points per game? Ah, For my whole career? I mean, points per game, bad and average, that stuff fluctuates, you yeah. know what I mean? It goes. You have career so, stats. Right, but y'all I have no idea what. Am I like, don't know. This? Like, no, I would think. Stats. I mean, shit, if I play. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not know his career batting average? Uh, I would think. Unless would he be... doesn't have a very good one. Hey. <laughs> Hey, that was decent. What is this Wait, stuff through your room? Google makes, it makes me sharp. Okay, let's play a little game. Over, under. Over, under 260. What? I say over. Oh, average. I say over. I hope it's over 260. Yes, over. come okay. on. I'm Julie's, with you on that. Julie's jubbling it. Julie is good. Remember, the internet's 100% right truth, Julie. Uh, <laughs> so, career. And okay, let's try career points per game for. Ah, uh, shit. 260. Maybe 13. I said, 14, oh, that, I said I the over, under 268. 268. Yes, sir. Kevin May. Yes, sir. Career 268. Nate's playing later. Yeah. No, three, 368. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go. Heart number, points, average points per game. Uh, course probably. Of your, how many uh, year career? 17 years. 17 years. 16. Yeah. 12.4. I was going to say 12.8. How much? What'd you Wait, say? Uh, this is I like said 12, 13. No, just the Mavericks, man. Yeah. You scored more when you just a Maverick. <laughs> yeah, I did, but they're talking Carrera. overall. 13.3. Look at that. Uh-huh. What, was oh. what was his Mavericks? What was his Mavericks? Nate, how many pancake that, blocks man. you put on in a... Oh, two or three a game. So you, you add it up. I used to <laughs> almost cuss, man. Two or three. Don't oh, yeah, oh, man. Oh, I wish it would have happened. Mm. I'm so excited. I would get so That's the only advantage I had. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't a better athlete than these guys I played against. Whatever I got to to put them on their back, I was no, getting that. You have those rings, man. So that's yeah, expressing in over everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You got those oh, rings. Where, where do you, you we wear them ever? 
you know that that's a different level of uh that's 90s days, 90s days, 90s days. no 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 that's a different <laughs> level of income i mean i love dub but dub ain't brought it like that stick around stick around but they bring it to a different level yes sir you, you get to see the boys we're gonna get, gonna get there yeah, right? yeah okay. we're gonna get it yeah tom do your job man quit worrying about tcu they are right. <laughs> oh jeez you can't even work for tcu oh that's hilarious okay Luddy, uh, over, yeah, under, on the number of goals you scored, 23. <laughs> you have to go, like, he knows. <laughs> yeah, you have to go, like, minutes well, per it's, game or it's something. Small, it's probably, it might be a couple more than that, but not many. Okay. So, eight, I mean, He's chasing points up. per game, I don't even know if it would register. How many years did you do it, Luddy? 18, I think it is. So, I don't how know. Many years? You went, how many years? 18. That's a freaking... You played 18 years? Uh, uh, his, his side of it would probably be more plus minus. So are we on the plus side or minus I would side? be on the plus side, I think, because I played on good teams. I mean, that makes a difference. Years. You know, so minutes, 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 minutes per game, then there you go. How many concussions? The over-under on number of concussions. <laughs> wow. I'm going to set it at five. Are I don't over? think I've had any. You don't think... <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. That's you the gave them out. You gave out. You gave out concussions, right? Daddy always told me it's better to give than receive. I don't know. I'm sure I've had a couple. 38 goals. Really? Oh, yeah. Thirty-eight. See, more you than you said. Yourself. What? See, I'm chasing wow. a last card here and go up there. No, that's not a wow, dude. Let me. So what was his? You do the math. Like two a year. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Four. Yeah. So plus minus plus eighty-four. None really? of, yeah. none of this paying bills. Either. I should have got more money. <laughs> <laughs> we all should. Nowadays you could have. That's for sure. Oh, don't yes. get me going there. There we go. Oh, you guys are the same thing about money now. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm don't even go there. I'm with them. You gotta be careful even talking about it. Wow. I think you're still in it. <laughs> wow, it none of us. All you guys are still in it. I have no regrets, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah you're like, you're fooling. Oh boy, two sixty eight, and you got a few million a year. I know. Now I could hit two hundred and make twenty a year. I was gonna say, what's that? <laughs> what's Hall of Fame? Three hundred? You gotta be three hundred hitter, mm. give or take. But now the, I don't think that'll change though. They're plummeting. It'll yeah, go man, up or down. Three It'll guys go down. hit over three hundred this year. The way that the game's being Since played. Since we're now. on Hall of Fame, man, do do you think every do you think they get it right most of the time when it comes to Hall of Fame, football, basketball, no. baseball? They don't get it right. They tonight. used to. I think, yeah, they used to. Now they're giving them out. Yeah. The problem no is the writers. Writers. It, needs uh, be, but it needs to be more the players. Exactly. I, think it I totally agree. Hey, okay. don't you think the answer would be different? There was five Hall of Famers sitting here. Oh, yeah, but they get it right every time. But like, they don't. No, no. They don't. I, up until about seven years ago, the NFL used to get it right because well, how I always looked at it is, you couldn't deny that guy. But some of these guys, we like used to, yeah, player. and I used to look at, I am used to dump so truck a, a lot of these like guys. A popularity contest, what you're saying. Yeah. And that's yeah. what yeah. the thing about anything, though. So it's all more, star games, all that stuff. The majority, the only sport I think that really gets it right for the all star are, is hockey. Hockey are your, the yeah. best player, the guys producing, yeah. right? And they and they pick it. Hey, Football, yeah. stuff, I mean, these guys are making pro. Who? Who's that guy starting? Yeah. Well, 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 to, to Nate's point, Nate, right. dude, some of these guys are getting in the Hall of Fame. Nate used to destroy. So it's yeah. like, yeah. Ooh, ooh, and you watch you look look at over it. the year, you'd be I like, look at it. You know. nah, this dude, how I looked at a guy is you had to, when I say Jerry Rice, you ain't going to never think about it. When I say Randy Moss, you ain't going to think about it. Okay, if I you said know. Ben Wallace, would you think about it? I, I don't know ben. your sport that way. Well. You know your sport. It's a sport specific type thing. Yeah. You know, NFL. You, like, I think Ben was a really good player, but I wouldn't put him in the hall. In See, the hall I, of fame? Yeah, I wouldn't put this him. Is, if but, Ben but, Wallace got in, everybody should be. But we're that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't put Ben in. That's what I'm saying. saying, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you know, on a daily basis. Yeah. Football, you could go with, with these guys. And what are your thoughts on hockey? Same thing. Baseball guys that we played with in the sport, but as a fan, just looking at in the hall. Ben Wallace in the I'm Hall like, of Fame. Stop that. I'm like, I, go, I wish I was joking. <laughs> yeah, so I, I wouldn't that's know. what I mean. I but know. sometimes you hear sports writers, they Sorry. take a personal grudge because somebody did something. That and part. I'm not voting for that yeah. because that he was this. Ben was one of my. I right? Like him are you a lot, basing, but he ain't no dog. But are you basing it on, on talent man. alone, First or are you basing it on all the other stuff? And that's what I mean. So you've got guys that are left out based on the talent alone because of something. Or steroids, or yeah, right. I ain't into that. That's a whole other discussion. This, yeah, man. This is this is pisses me off. You can't not keep a guy out of the Hall of Fame. If I am a reporter with integrity and I knew that you were on steroids, I had to write about it. I had to let the public know. You cannot wait till this guy come up on the ballot and then then, then come Back at him like that. Him. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you cannot. Now that's just this how I feel. You can't do the whole major league baseball knew. If the players knew, 
The, the, the reporters knew and the owners knew. Don't do, do these guys like that. But now that's for you to decide because you're a baseball well, you player. Know, talk about the word integrity. I yeah. mean, what's about the media and those guys? No, it, that's the thing. These guys, I mean, the greatest baseball player of all, Pete Rose, shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Okay, Without you gamble on ba- really? Now, gambling in baseball and everything else. Oh. So it's legal. It's no, legal. That's what I'm saying. That's the biggest sponsors ever. In, yeah. in the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. They're being hypocritical. Well, they're, they're, they're making right. money on it now. Yes. And he did it's it. Insane. We're talking about on the field, what he did on the field, period, as a player. And that's yep. what it's based on. If you want, don't want to put him in as a man, it's a double fine. standard. Right. as a player, player he should be in there. They, those right. guys deserve no to be in there. They shouldn't have to, to well, they're on the, whatever the committee is now, the Veterans Committee. I don't know if the NFL or the other sports have... Yeah. Veterans committees that go in. These guys that are being we have it in to, baseball. I mean football. They're trying to wrong, to right wrongs that were made prior. Yes, but it's, I completely. And so Barry Bonds. Oh, we're talking baseball in particular. Yeah. Barry Bonds, Hall of Famer. That's yeah. yes. the, For, one, just, I mean, sure. just a question. You look at what do you when you think of Hall of Fame? What do you think of guys that transcended the game? That have made the game. Facts. Yes, that have done the job. That have even regardless. I mean that all that stuff. It, I mean it helps with. You know, but as far as the talent wise and what they've done, that it, beyond it, because right, we know guys that have, that have cheated and have never gotten caught. Right, we've been around and we know those guys. Even looking at guys and people ask, but that's not for us to decide. But we that's know, right. right, the integrity yeah. of knowing not. Yeah, nobody yeah, for, cheats in it, life. Yeah, exactly. I mean, forget about oh, yeah, it. We that's never, I've never cheated. What guys want to do? I, mean, I got a tattoo that says, "If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying." You ain't trying. <laughs> but, but it's the biggest travesty of the players that. Get in that shouldn't be, or the ones that haven't gone in that mm. should go in. So this is my, the bigger. This is my issue. Is stop with the conspiracy theories as a a reporter. You just you write on our oh, you wrote on, reporters wrote our lives, and it's a shame that you had something against a star. Or uh, Maverick, or uh, Seahawk, or uh, Philadelphia Eagle, or uh, Ranger. You had something personally against them. In a lot of cases, yes. Why, why would you that, not? Why, why do the reporters you... get to vote and the players don't? Yeah, I don't well, this is that. That's okay, biggest. that's where I. That's where I get so furious. Is that it? Like we, we've just anointed writers as the yeah, end all part, be yeah. all. Like, yes. And I, and I think that broadcasters should be included in that. I think players, players should, and former players, the former majority should be way more. Absolutely. And it's like uh, Michael Young used to always say whenever he would get in the All Star game and it was voted on, he would get in b- voted on by his peers, and he would always say that that means more to me than anything else to know that the people, the guys that I play against have respect my That's game. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think that that... So Your just, peers are everything. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And, and let, let me tell you something. Mm. I've covered baseball for 20 years. Yeah. I, 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 I will never be as qualified as a guy who played one game in the big leagues because I don't, I have not been there, right? Man, so, we would get it right. That's what, absolutely. These four guys right here would get it right. I, All I, I without, man. without bias. Yeah. yeah. Whatsoever. I, I don't, because yes. And I think that you have a different mindset as an athlete or a former athlete that that is that that, yeah. that other people don't have. And so the fact that there aren't more players, former players, former coaches, yes, um, even executives, my, front office yes. people, that there aren't more of those, and that we just rely so heavily mm-hmm. on writers. Like I just don't, yeah. I don't get it. It's and so weird. Sport, I, I, and it's I, so I, anti. It's just so like. Arcade. Yeah, I, I bring it up because Mark Aguirre, a good friend of mine, you know right. Mark, oh, of Mark. Course, most people do. Yeah. I mean, had a, a a Hall of Fame career. Can't get in. Yet Dennis Rodman is in. If you look at Mark's numbers, Julie, you're doing the numbers, right? 20 points a game. You know how many points Dirk Nowitzki averaged for his career? We were doing that too. 20 points. Mark Aguirre made the All-Star team. I mean, with average 30 points a game. In some years. Why isn't he in the Hall of Fame? Dennis Rodman is in the Hall of Fame. First ballot. And I love Worm. I love him to death. But he's not a first ballot Hall of Fame. Is that because I, of the I, number I, of rings I, he has? I believe he was in the Hall of Fame. That has something yeah. to do with it, too. I mean, what, you're right. Robert Ory's got, what, eight, nine rings or something? Yeah, seven. You're seven exactly right. right. Yeah. These guys, but that's what it is. It Dennis Rodman standard. in the Hall of Fame? First ballot, Nate. Have changed though. It's what, but it's, you're right. It's the sports writers because this, you know, these new generation, <coughs> they have the thing against <coughs> the older players. 
we we I'm, have I'm, awards at the end of the year that the players vote on, right? They right. play, right? They have the awards every year. Hockey votes, baseball, football. They have their end of the year awards that the players vote on. You know, the the baseball has the Marvin Man, Marvin Miller Man of the Year awards, and the mm-hmm. team votes on it. Does it right? Then they go to the higher ups, and the players vote. The you know being able to. You know, but a lot of this stuff, it's just, it's a popularity contest. Yeah. You were a popular guy, so you're going to go in. Yeah. And then you get guys that are playing, right, all-star game, that are hitting a buck 85, but they've got 40 homers. Really? That's what's, that's what you want to see? I thought it was about the best talent playing to get, exactly, right there. It's chasing, it's the money that, that it, what it brings in. It's, it's gone away from just your skill yeah. and the ability and what you're doing each year. Mm-hmm. That you have to get to, you have runoffs now, right, for votes. Now we have, it goes to the fan vote, right? It's usually the major market guys that are winning the fan vote right. because of right and New York you, against a, somebody in in Phoenix, right? For Diamondbacks as opposed yeah. to uh, a New York Met, the New York Met part player is going to get, gonna get ten it. times as many votes because it's the market, yes, the market exactly. in general. Yeah, yeah. And you see it, you see it a lot in the SEC football versus everybody else in the country. It's a good point. That's right? why I'm so. I used to be so against the more the merrier, but I need for them to go to twelve teams. So we can get some West Coast guys out there that's balling, mm-hmm. and we'll never know how good they are mm-hmm. until they you put them in the mix. Yeah. So it, it just it just bothers me when I see a guy you rolling up in there in a wheelchair and you trying to make him bigger than life, but the, but we don't get to see him as a man whole, being able to talk for himself, and that's what the Pro Football Hall of Fame is. They let guys <laughs> virtually just wheeling up there, man, old and can't talk. Come on, man. Bob Hayes was dead. Yeah, you want fine. your flowers now. Well, you I'm don't, like, don't do them people like you that. Know. Yeah. No, no. You, you want waiting, your flowers guys, today. 20, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, Carol Carmichael played yeah. back in the late 70s. Right. Right. He just gets great, in. Great wide, great wide receiver. receiver. Yet, because it wasn't, I guess, well, the Pearson. standards. Yeah, Drew DP, the same yeah. thing. It's the standard of, wait, time out. These guys set the standard for the guys that are here now. Yeah. Just wow. because the number, you know, okay, so whatever, the 12, 14 games, their numbers, they had 1,000 yards receiving years. Okay, that now they can do it in four or five games. So now they're basically, you know, well, that guy did it then. He's definitely in the Hall of Fame. That's an incredible year, point, man. That, right, they're throwing him in the Hall of Fame yeah, because of that change. year that he had. Yeah, as opposed nice. to, because you won for Hall of Fame, you think mm. longevity. Right? Yeah. And being able to continue to produce day in and day out for the longevity. Granted, guys fall off, but for the most part, they set the, set the standard for people to know. That's what, when you think of your sport, that's the guy you think of. Yeah. Man, did you ever make it all star? No. Never all Close, time. but no, yeah. that's the way it comes to The NFL yeah. had an unwritten rule where there's two ways you can get in. is play that high standard over a long period of time, or you come in and you impact the game and change it, like Gary Sales did. He impacted the game with all the punt returns, all yeah. the way he did things. So you, you had that impact. But now it's like, okay, you play for the Miami Dolphins. You had four good years, and we liked it you. And now we're gonna mm-hmm. put you in. That, yeah. That's not like, fair. Like Cal- Calvin Johnson's in there. I don't. Exactly. Yeah, he played on. He played on. <laughs> we got drafted the same year. I'm like, we <laughs> Calvin Johnson from Detroit. <laughs> yeah. But well, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's based on where they played. Detroit. So the teams that are played eight years, maybe. Think about yeah. the teams that had runs. You know, seventy Steelers and Cowboys, the guys that are in the Hall of Fame because of what they did. Yeah. The 49ers success. in the 80s because of the success. Yes. But you don't hear about a guy who played on a one in sixteen Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. Yeah. That's in. It deserves to be in there, but because of his, his production, yeah, his team was right, bad, right. That's what it's yep. about. It's based on well, the team was very bad. But that's what I mean. They're basic. That's what I mean. The standards and how yeah. they set these are just. I, I agree with him. I, I think the players. I, yeah, that, that's player, the only players, hope. Former players, yeah, you know, yeah, former that's managers, only. former managers, yeah. like the, people who have who played the game. Um, I, I just think have a completely different perspective. Because I know how hard it is. Right. No, that's somebody who doesn't. Seven, seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I was writing about it all day long. There's no disrespect Don't to give the writers the full side, autonomy to be. Seven let years ago, I was down with the NFL. Absolutely. The vote, let, but then the media have, they're a little bit less and, percentage. And unfortunately, yeah. analytics are starting to come into yeah. it. Oh, my God. You're a Hall of Famer. Not to mention that. Your votes count more, right? But being able to play then. But no, it's not. It's it's almost sports writer because the guys like, they'll interview them after they've done. Well, I voted for such and such, and they'll say, "Well, why? Because he was this." That. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like. I was able to Ryan, watch his interviews, big, like the Heisman this year. Right? They were talking about you know Dugan. Is that you say his last Duggan. name? Dugan should have. From what I've gathered, watching him and seeing it, but watch it. U.S. But now he had a guy at his college that was lights out too. 
Oh, you're talking about for the Holocaust? I mean, yeah. for the... Um, Heisman. 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 Yeah, yeah. Nixon. Yeah, he's... The, but that's what I mean. Who, who, who is just leading who is pastor? This, uh, Michael Nix Jr. Oh, okay. Michael P. Nix. I mean, he's he's the quarterback for UW. He led the nation in passing. Mm-hmm. I just... <laughs> no thoughts, yeah. right? And now, he, now, now he has to come back. He's coming back for his senior season, and now they're already saying, oh, he's going to be number one candidate for the Heisman. <laughs> yeah. well, why wasn't he in there for this year? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so many of those... It's funny, but it's not yeah, funny, you know what I'm right? saying? Like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. And so many of those like situations are are predicated on stuff that's established, you know, watch lists and stuff like that at the beginning of the season. Same way with this, a totally different tangent, but like, you know, the t- the preseason rankings, like for college football, I'm like, you're if you don't start in the top twenty, you're effed. Even if you, you know what I mean? If, I mean, even if you win all your games but one, you're mm-hmm. effed because you started outside, and then oh, then you win three or four games, and then you start cracking in, and then yeah. you just slowly moved up. But the people who start out at one, it's like you're in the top five. Well, plus, they're talking about, you know, you don't get ranked high if you don't play against tough enough competition. Well, these schedules are booked out 10 years in advance. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Can't control oh, yeah. every schedule. Yeah. yeah. Play yeah. your schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Do they still do? Schedule. They show coaches, up, I beat them up. That's what yeah. happens. Do they still yeah. do a coach's poll where the actual coaches vote on who should be the top? The coach ain't like, never voted. You mean you the know, athletic you know, director? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the sports information director. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the yes, coaches yeah. pick the all-stars in the NBA without a doubt. There, there are the fan votes, and after that, to pick the rest of the guys, you pick five players, the, the fans do, for starters, and then after that, they give the voting to the coaches. And that's which better. I, I, I would concur. Yeah, that's I, better. Better. Yeah. I think that's the way it should be, personally. But the problem is people have with that is if so, like the NBA, five starters, mm-hmm. people have incentives in there, and then people, they vote them in, and then you have the fans that sit there and bitch and moan. Well, <laughs> I, you know, well, I, he's starting all-star. Yeah, you just voted him to start, so he gets a $250,000 bonus because of you, yeah. yet you're pissing and moaning about the amount of money he's making. Mm-hmm. Don't vote him as a starter. Yeah. Right? And that's what I mean. So people have that complaint. It should be so, up to us. The same thing. If fans, a little bit. When the when you're saying the fans pick the starters. Yeah. They, and they then have the coaches both. pick the rest. Yes. Yeah. What would the difference be if the coaches pick the starters? And the fans pick yeah. the rest. Great point. Because I just wonder I, who they, because they should know, right? The coaches should know who the true all-stars are, right? In the sense of the whole game? Yeah. Or are, they, or the, are the fans picking... The same ones over LeBron. I mean, the same guys over yeah. and over again. See, I, I don't mind the fans so much. It is do, I'm sorry. I, I, I do mind the fans because they're going to like who they like. It's an emotional decision. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're going to like who they like. They, I mean, Steph Curry mm-hmm. is going to get the baby vote, the, the adult vote, the female vote. Which goes back to the market. Yeah. Right? Well, you think about it, right? You, you, as kids, you remember going to sporting events. They had yeah. the ballots. Right, mm-hmm. and you have to push the little push the yes. little hole through there, and you, yes. and you go through there, and you start, and you get halfway down, and you go, "Who the hell is that? What? I, those are my options." <laughs> All right, I'll do that one, right? Because it's like you talk about the market where you are. Yeah. If I'm on the East Coast, I don't know about that. Who's on the West Coast? Who's over when Seattle's got a basketball? I'm like, who in the hell? Who are these people? Your right, and then your, your parents are there. <clears throat> so you don't. So that's what I mean. So you don't. And now with social media, I mean, it's, it's social media has taken there. over. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's taken over. But who's to say those social media now with all these bots that people are voting? <laughs> yes, that are, that's true. Right. So yeah. you know, that's what I'm saying. It's if you leave it jacked. in the hands of the players, the majority, and then yep. the other stuff, I agree. So, okay, right. we've gone uh, quite a long time. We've co- covered a lot of different subjects. Which You've I lost love control of this whole thing. I lost thing. control. Very and I've lost ten on. pounds sitting here today. You can always edit. Okay. Yes. We don't need to. I don't think so. I don't want to edit. I don't think we need to. I don't know. But what it does, it gives us shows. This is going to work. It gives us two shows. This is like a four part. Chop it. We're going to close this thing out. But when I and I want you to tell me your Christmas wish for your podcast and for your team. So him. Why? Because you don't know. I don't know. Christmas wish. Christmas wish for your podcast. You're right. You know, right. <laughs> you know my mom sells padded seats yeah. at her store. Uh, you ever been on a padded seat? <laughs> Lord. No, We're going to give you another four hours. Here here. What, what's your the, question? The let's, listener let's, is a visual. Uh, I, we've had, we've had so many visuals. Is it vinyl? Uh, vinyl it, cracks. It, Wait, no. Yeah. no, no. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're padded <laughs> ass gaskets? Oh, they're real quick. Durable. They're real quick. You can take it with you, Nate, when you're done. You can take it with you, all right, back of on track. Do, Christmas wish for your podcast <laughs> and for your team. So the, the, po- the Christmas wish for your podcast could be like a dream guest. You, none of you can say me. 
<laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Where, where's that whiskey lunch? <laughs> I, no kidding. You can't say I'm not. Like, I can't be a part of the Christmas wish. <laughs> um, I know who I want. Okay, Nate. Who go. that dude that got two hundred seventy million dollars? <laughs> I know. You don't know who you want. What his name? Christian Ronaldo. Because yeah. his name, he, he named by his whole name. He, he calls something it's, else. It's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. That's who I want. Ronaldo. Two hundred. Yeah. I was, maybe by one year. Two hundred seventy million. Okay. I was okay. not for now. You're just next for two years. That's all you want. You're just making me go. I like it. Okay. Okay. What about? Christmas wish for the Cowboys. Oh man, you know that to oh. beat these boys, okay. to beat the Eagles. I don't care about the Super Bowl. <laughs> beat them. Christmas Eve. Okay. Up, man. Christmas Eve is going Pump down. Up. Yeah, I know. going I can't down a little so bit, Okay, yeah. Mitchie, what about you? What do you got? Christmas wish for the Big Head Pod. Dream guest. To be small. Dream, yeah. Uh, Fletcher Cox. <sighs> I know who mine would be if I was like had a baseball podcast. Yeah, I just I'll find some Hall of Famers or somebody to get on that just to guy, do it. right there. What did I do right there? Junior Griffey. Oh. Mm-hmm. Junior, I'll work on it. Go. Get it. That's my get Kenny, it. Kenny. Do it. Oh man, I just love him. I want to I my Christmas list for all of us just to continue to grow this. Yes, the fun Aww. we have together, just to be able to do it together and get out and. We do have fun. Um, we can probably get some hot works in here because this place is yeah. smoking. We've yeah. got some yeah. spots that way. But just getting out and, <laughs> get, you know, people seeing this yeah. and getting this and making a call and wanting, to, wanting to come out. Because I'm sure we can entertain people for hours. Just just feed us some food. And, Absolutely. Right? We can have some gummies. Then we'll have the real munchies. They could serve. And then some whiskey and, and just having fun. I think that's what we do together. We just mm-hmm. have fun with it, right? Because there's... Nobody's going to get upset about what we say to each other. We no. can't worry about what people f- say out there. But it, we're having right. fun, right? This is just right. this is how we were raised in sports. It's just to have fun with it. And that, that's the biggest thing. It just talk. Make sure yeah. we continue to grow. Yeah. We, need, we need more of these, this type of stuff. Yeah. But doing it outside in, yes. in the community, letting people see us. Yeah. Right? As opposed to big Nate walking see, that, You heard that, Tom. <laughs> Scare, scaring people at the mall. From the first day we got together, when I walked out there, I said, we should be taking this show on the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's once, get it. once a month, once well, every two months. Nate yeah. does to the Come mall. Come on, Tom. <laughs> you take him to the mall, but just crush it. You're not inviting us. Tom, you go to the mall. Uh, uh, yeah, come on, man. Okay, okay. I'm gonna call y'all for real. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Galleria in the next few days, but mall. I love. It. I ain't go, I'm not mall going to the mall. They got an ice rink over there, don't they? <laughs> yeah, uh, big ice uh, rink, man. Okay, Isaiah, either a Christmas wish for um, the podcast or your team. Let me tell you something, or your team. Oh man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with, he already hit my eyes on for the, for the podcast network. So mm-hmm. I work for the Cowboys, but my hometown is Seattle. Uh-huh. So I need Seattle to, to figure it out and get their butts to the playoffs. Okay. That's what I need. Okay. I thought you were going to say win a championship this no, year. No, 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 no. I'm not okay. asking for that. No. Harp, no. what about you? Harp's court? Uh, yeah. As far as podcast cast is concerned, I, I echo the sentiments of Mitch. I, I just think that we can do a little bit more individually and as as the foursome. Tom. Yeah. So I, I <laughs> we didn't bring I, Tom in here. Is that Tom Fire Island? Tom yeah. Fire Island? Hey that- you all you all have given us a, a very unique platform. You really have. I mean everybody that's involved and it's uh it's so much room for growth for us. And as far as my team, I mean the Mavericks are my team and my wish is that they they uh they make shots, times. man. <laughs> <laughs> that they make shots. I mean, that's the best deodorant for basketball yeah. is just making shots. And we, we've we struggled this year from time to time when we don't make threes to win games. So there you go. Okay. All right. Bloody. Thuds with floods. Well, off the top of my head, my, my, my important wish or hope would be that for Christmas this year, I have collard greens. Okay. I'd love to be able to now we're some talking. With the onesie. Early bird, it, early bird like CBD no, gummies and it, early Marshall whiskey at the house. Collard With greens. the onesie. Collard greens. Hey. I want a picture of you eating collard greens in that onesie. Sweet Georgia Brown. With the flap out. I don't think anybody up there knows what they are or where we grow them. I bet. He's just going to walk in the Your grocery. mom know what they are. Oh, I, will. I bet you can find collard greens. I'll I'll I bet you can too, bro. All right. You try hard. What else? What about the stars? Well, I'd say championship. Yeah, I mean, I would like them. I, and Jim Mills done an unbelievable job. I think the secondary scoring. I think they could use a little bit of that because we got a top line. The though. other thing that pops out to me is, and you can probably relate to this, Julie. I think that Jim Mills should be working on a deal with Joe Pavelski. Yeah. And not necessarily as a player. I mean, as a player, if he wants to come back, but he needs to be in the organization. I just okay. think he, I see him. 
I, I think he's done so many good things with young kids, the kids that he's playing with. I think, I think that's important for this Don't organization. Okay. But I still want collard greens. And collard greens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 uh, Man, I forgot to ask you. I'd like to eat some collard greens out of the cup. Right. Menchie, uh, dream free agent for the Rangers. Already got DeGrom in here. I, I think they need, yeah, I, it's tough. It's, you know how it is with bait right now. It's just one of those, there's the, the pondering of what, if you you want the lighters and the, and the Kumar to be ready to go. Yeah. It all depends on the, I know some, some organization rush guys through just because they want one, put people in the seats. I know the last few years haven't been what the Rangers have expected with Chris taking over with Boach coming in and with Mad Dog pitching coach, old school baseball, get back to the fundamentals of baseball, right? Not, you know, everybody trying to hit a home run, you know, everybody doing their job, you know, and getting paddled in the same direction. I just haven't seen a lot of that. And I'm sure a lot of the sports, the same thing you haven't seen. And any of that guys wanting to be together, it's just been individualized and hopefully they're able to squash that and start over and just, and, and push through that. I know the fans are, are ready. They're always ready in any sport, but it's going to be a little bit, but if they can just continue to improve and, and get people to want to come here. I know DeGrom said that his biggest thing was their, their philosophy, what they want to do is, is to win a championship. You know, the biggest thing that with him is, is just being healthy and helping them. But maybe he's part of it's that, but part of it is to mentor those younger guys that yeah. are kind of on the cusp of, mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting. The next, I mean, baseball shuts down now through the winter through until January. And then what do we have eight weeks till the pitcher and catcher report? So, I mean, it's, it, it'll start flying here at the end of the year. I know with Correa just signing that huge deal. I mean, look at the money to throw people yeah. 13 years, $350 million. It's crazy. Yeah. Should be a GM, man. <laughs> there we go. My back. guy, Christian. Two hundred and seventy million. Ronaldo. Million. You gonna know his name by the end of the year, Nate? No, Nate's dream guest. We got. We got to make sure we text okay. Nate every day. All right, guys. This has been million. super, super fun. Thanks for letting me sit in Thank on your you, dub, dub dudes talk. Thank you. Do the dictator, so man. Right. Oh, here. that's a good. I like that. Why? The dub dudes. What yeah. Do do? See, man, so, I wish you could bring little daughter in here. Daddy's a dictator. <laughs> uh, okay, so y'all know. I'm, well, maybe you don't know. We always end the mom game by saying mom game out. We throw up our peace signs, but I think we should do dub dudes out. Okay, so the peace sign. what were we going to say? Uh, that's a lot of pressure. Three, that's a lot of pressure. Say one, two, three. Two three throw up the peace signs and say dub we're here. dudes okay. out. This is us a lot. And I finish in like Emily it. fashion. Like Wait, it. no, ends on that one. Which okay. one I'm on? Okay. Well, one that, on that the one that's one. looking right at you. Ready? Okay. On the count. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Okay, ready? From the we're gonna, dub dudes. We're gonna Merry Christmas from the dub dudes. That's, that's what we're Merry gonna Christmas say the whole thing. Dub, yeah. Okay. okay. You wanna no, say Merry Christmas from the dub dudes? I, was, yeah, yeah, I just had in my head dub dudes out, and now we're okay. 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 We're we're what is? What is? Yeah. Let's do Merry Christmas from the dub dudes. That's a bit of a question. We'll write it down. We need another one. All right. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from the, the Dub Dudes. dudes. Uh -huh. You must. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs>